We're all told at a young age to go to college and get a four-year degree and then work at a job for the rest of your life while you pay off this massive amount of debt that you've accumulated. But is this path really for everyone? My name is Elmar Key, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crossfellower, and today we're going to discuss if music producers should go to college. Elmar Key Productions. First of all, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If this is your first time seeing me, I make videos that give advice to independent artists and producers. I also make videos that break down my beat making and songwriting process. I give tutorials on Logic Pro 10 and occasionally I do product reviews. So if any of that interests you, I need you to do me a really quick favor. Go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that way you'll be notified whenever I make more videos like this and then you'll help other people with similar interests as you see more videos like this. Got that out of the way? Bet. Let's get into this potentially controversial video. First and foremost, everything that I'm saying in this video is based on a combination of my own personal experience as well as my opinion. I'm not a teacher, I'm not a parent, I'm not a guidance counselor, so take my advice with a grain of salt. Also, I'm addressing people who specifically want to go to college for music production, not necessarily getting a degree in other fields and then maybe doing production on the side, or just getting a degree in another field as a backup plan as you work on your career as a music producer. So if you're someone who's considering going to college specifically for music production, you're who I'm talking to right now. And a little bit about my own background is that I didn't go to college specifically for music production. I wanted to. I actually went to and graduated from a community college where I got my associate's degree in music. And then my initial plan was to transfer to another school to get my degree in music industry, which primarily focused on teaching music business. And part of the curriculum actually did teach some things on music production. So I don't have firsthand experience on what it's like to study specifically music production in college, but I did study music in college. Close enough. So if you are someone who's considering going to college, not even just for music production, but in general, think about why you want to go. Ask yourself these questions. Does the job that I want to work at require a degree? If so, what degree? Do you need an associate's? Do you need a bachelor's? Do you need a doctor's or master's? Maybe you need a certification. Maybe this job doesn't require a degree, but it requires experience. Will college give you the necessary hands-on experience? Could it potentially distract you from getting more hands-on experience? If your potential career path does not require a degree, what are other options that you have for educating yourself? Are the classes that you can attend, books that you can read, or internships that you can work at outside of college? Consider your financial station. Can you pay for your education out of pocket? Have you gotten any scholarships? If you haven't already gotten a scholarship, are you ready to put in the work to get them? If you can't pay for college out of pocket, are you willing to potentially go into a significant amount of debt that's going to take you over very long time if not your entire lifetime to pay me personally if i could go back in time knowing what i know now about myself and about what exactly i want to do rather than spending the money that i did spend on going to college i would have rather put that money towards online courses so i could learn in-depth knowledge about production mixing and songwriting in a structured format as well as courses on how to actually market your music and things like an entrepreneur i also would have invested into books that taught these same subjects as well as entrepreneurship and personal finance maybe i would have used some of that money to buy some gear that's on my wish list and i definitely would have used a good portion of that towards Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads a lot earlier than I am now with the purpose of driving traffic towards my website. The college that I attended offered a well-rounded curriculum where they didn't just teach about music, they also taught about other subjects outside of music such as your standard subjects like English and math and science and history and foreign language. And while the purpose of me going to a community college was to knock out my general education, I personally found it difficult to apply a lot of the knowledge that I learned in a practical everyday lifestyle. While the purpose of me going to that community college was to knock out my general education and while it did offer a well-rounded curriculum where I learned things outside of just music I personally found it difficult to apply a lot of what I learned to real life everyday situations and a lot of it had little to nothing to do with the career path that I wanted to pursue which is the reason why I went to college in the first place in terms of gaining experience in my field I did have to take a few ensemble classes where I played in a jazz band and an orchestra band which is necessary for musicians and performing artists so that was one of the better parts of the curriculum and even though the purpose of me going to community college first was to knock out the general education courses before going to a four-year university where it would primarily just focus on what I actually did want to study. There still was a lot of time and money dedicated to focusing on, on subjects that really didn't offer me much knowledge or experience with what I actually wanted to do. So in the meantime, when I wasn't studying for college and when I wasn't working at my part-time job, I did everything I could to educate myself on my field completely outside of college using resources such as YouTube, books, online courses, Courses, and also running my own music business to where I would record artists in my home, produce for them, mix their music, which are some of the different ways that I do make a living doing music. I would pretty much structure time for me to only focus
focus on college work, but then also have time when I would only study music, working on music, working with different artists and running my own business actually gave me hands-on experience to really learn the art of production, art of mixing, how to work with different artists of different styles and different backgrounds. And doing all of that got me way closer to where I wanted to be in terms of a career than going to college in my opinion. And also rather than getting into a crazy amount of debt by running my own business, I've made more than I invested anyways. All of that in less than four years. So to summarize all of that, while college did offer me a well-rounded curriculum where I could study subjects outside of music, the reason why I went to college in the first place was to potentially increase the chances of me getting a career in music, but it wasn't giving me the same amount of knowledge or experience that I wanted to gain in comparison to me running my own business and studying online and studying in books. And honestly, I do debate with myself sometimes whether or not if going to college was actually a complete waste or not. Okay, so that was my personal experience, but what does any of that have to do with what you decide to do. My experience may not be the same as yours. The college that I went to did have a program that taught music production, but it operated as a certificate rather than a degree program. Maybe you have the opportunity to actually get an associate's or a bachelor's degree in music production. Maybe the school that you attend may put more of an emphasis on the music itself rather than studying a bunch of subjects that don't really have anything to do with music. However, the price of that education is similar or exceeds the price of the education that I received. There could be potentially better resources for you to use. Books, online courses, Courses, and most importantly working with other artists and producers are significantly less expensive than college and can possibly offer you a lot more knowledge on top of that you can work at your own pace and learn what you specifically want to learn rather than learning a bunch of different subjects that some can obviously be applied to real life situations while others even some of your professors may admit that you're not gonna use this in real life. Two of mine said that to me. One argument that people do have going to college for music production is to get hands-on experience with studio gear. However, in 2020, you can get your own gear for way less money than that education and it's yours. Another argument that people make is the potential connections that you can make in college. But I wouldn't justify that huge price tag just to make some connections with people. Depending on your location, you could be in proximity with other artists and producers that you could potentially work with. Or for or for a couple hundred dollars instead of a couple thousand dollars, and also in a time period outside of COVID, you could attend different festivals or different conferences, different meetups with other producers, possibly bigger name producers that are just as, if not more serious than the producers who study at a college. And even if you're not in proximity, with other artists. We have the internet. Like you watching this video right now, you could drop a comment or find me on Instagram and message me on there and then bam, you just made a connection without having to spend a single cent. There's so much that can be discussed on the subject, but I wanna start wrapping this up. Like I said, I'm not a parent. I am not a guidance counselor. I don't know what environment that you learn the best in and I don't know your specific goals or your financial situation. So don't take anything that I've said in this video as super strong advice. I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. While I'm not anti-college per se, I am very pro-education. and I do highly encourage you to get your education from somewhere, whether you do make the decision to go to college or whether you're the type of person who likes to self-educate yourself through other non-traditional means. The path you choose to get your education is a very important choice. After you watch this video, maybe you'll wanna watch videos from other people who share their experiences that may be similar to mine or maybe completely different to mine. You should definitely talk to your guidance counselors, parents, close friends, people who really know you, understand you. If you know someone who has a career that you'd like to model, definitely talk to them and get advice from different people before making your final decision. Most importantly, figure out your goals, figure out a few different ways to meet your goals, write down the pros and cons of your different options, watch other videos similar to this that share people's experience with going to college or getting education from other sources and ask people that you know for advice. And the absolute most important thing that you need to do is make a choice that's both responsible and makes you happy. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, be sure to visit my website, El Marquis Productions com where you'll be able to check out my music my beats my sample kits my merchandise and my mixing mastering and consulting services now go down in the comment section below and let me know what's your opinion about college should all music producers go to college do you prefer learning by experience rather than through a textbook let me know in the comment section below my name is El Marquis El Marquis Productions God bless